Hello everybody, my name is Benji and welcome back to Mindustry where last time we finished up with the Naval Fortress. I did go on ahead and capture it with the other ones. I don't think I actually showed that on camera, but it is captured. I'm not going to do anything fancy here, no like extra production or any sort of fanciness because I don't have any method to get things back to this island. Um, because the tech tree has not yet unlocked uh, this, which is, or sorry, this, I think, um, which is the mass driver. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, the mod developer has fixed a couple of issues that have been occurring for me and others, evidently, with the mod, I would assume. Uh, number one, he fixed it, so the Terillium Forge is now showing up. Uh, it is right here. It requires an ore called Erbium. And Erbium, it says in here... Sorry, the Genesux. It says up here, a metal commonly found on the home world of the Genesux can be found in specific places on Serpulo. So it is found, I'm going to assume, on the new zone that was added in, labeled as terraformed. Uh, its threat is extreme, so I don't really know if I want to go there just yet. I feel like we could probably handle it, uh, so we might try it. I am going to launch from Extraction Outpost because Extraction Outpost has a bunch of stuff. And I think it glitched some Erbium in from a crafting recipe uh, as I like loaded in checking around to see, which is why I have some on this world, but I don't actually have access to it, don't worry. And another change that was made was to the cellar furnace. Uh, instead of making tungsten, which it used to, now it makes extra silica. So instead of having to like double up on a silica smelter or anything like that, it also actually looks like he nerfed the silicon oven. 1.5 per second, like that looks... Ah, no, I guess not. I guess that was already nerfed at one point and I just didn't notice. Uh, but that's an extra way to get silica now is through the stellar furnace and I'm sure that I'll be using that in the future So let's check out terraformed. I really want to see what it's like uh, It's probably gonna look pretty extraterrestrial oh. Serrat look crystal old plasma can I just I can I can just put like mechanical pumps on it so let's take a look at the zone first there's seratla crystals which i can mine and get what looks like a stronium i can't tell if those are decals or if those are mineable blocks exogenesis ditrix stellar steel erbium Let's look at the whole list. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's a long list of items. That's a very long list of items. Uh, Erbium, Cold Plasma, more Erbium, Exogenesis Dietrix. I don't know if we've found anything that we can use Dietrix for yet. No, because that Ceratomite gets me Seratla Diamonds. Cold Energy Fuser uses Hydrogen and Astrolite to get the Ceravoxa metal. And it looks like this uses the Terillium? Yeah, it uses Terillium to be created. And Stellar Steel and Erbium and Osmium as well as hydrogen which is through the cold plasma splitter which won't be an issue on this planet because i don't need to use water what else is here can't tell those must be walls of some kind no there's part of the terrain more cold plasma seratla crystals stellar steel ceratomite so yeah, I definitely don't know what the Exogenesis Dietrix is for. Ceratomite is for something. And this zone is ginormous. Holy crap. 
Dude, this place is ginormous. Big centerpiece. Just a bunch of stuff. This place is huge. I don't even... I don't even really know where to start, honestly. Um... We have our drones, so that's at least something. Is that we have our drones, so we don't need to worry about lead or anything. I wonder if the drones... Mining. Serolacris? And there's thorium here too? I'm confused. Efficiency 50%? Efficiency 0%? No. I don't have... Oh, okay, I do. I do have my... Oh, I have my water. Oh my goodness, that scared me. That scared me. That scared me a lot. Oh my gosh. I was like, no. No, you can't. You can't take away... You cannot take away my mining drills and my efficiency. You can't do that to me, mod developer. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. So I'm just gonna set up a couple of mines. Better drill required? Better drill required? Do I need the impact drill? Okay. All right, scratch, scratch all of this, scratch it. Scratch all of this. Uh, if I can't get the ceratomite and I can't, can I get the erbium? I can't get the erbium. Can I get the ditrix? I can't get the ditrix. I can't get anything until I have the impact drill. Well, that was a massive tease. All right, we're just gonna leave the zone. The zone's gonna get captured. Uh, how do I, how do I get the impact drill? Nuclear production complex. All right, we're gonna do nuclear production complex today then. Um, go back to extraction outpost, back to nuclear production complex, and I don't have the stuff. So I'll see you guys over on the uh, nuclear production complex and yeah, um, I'll be back soon. Sorry for the tease. I teased myself too though, in all fairness, let's be honest. All right, I'll be back momentarily. We have almost fully captured the zone at this point. You can see we've got a lot of infrastructure going on. Uh, power generation down here, pyrotite, which is currently offline. Uh, is my power grid like dead? Oh. Well, that's a problem. Uh, I shouldn't have brought you guys back in yet. Well, <laughs> That's a problem we're going to have to sort. Batteries are drained. Uh, kilns, new sand blueprint. I went on ahead and did that. That's in my blueprint library now. Uh, Multipress for graphite, astrolite, thorium, more graphite, uh, plastanium, a, whatever this is called, stellar steel, and more silica. Silica. And then this stuff for our defense, as well as some um, cold plasma for our defense as well. So let me go and fix my power plant, and then we're going to place some builder drones back home so that this does not happen again. This is, this is actually really bad. Uh, not going to lie, I'm freaking out just a little bit about this because uh, no power means not good luckily it should be pretty easy to just jump start everything because as soon as we have some pyrotite on the belt we already have cryofluid in the chamber and that's gonna help a little bit i hope please please start making me good power it's going up it's going up and we're in the positive all right we're good and yeah, like I said, I'm going to make some drones. There, Polly. That's what I need. And I'm just going to put it here. I'm just going to shove this straight into there. And that'll be fine. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to try to check out here is some Saratla diamonds and stuff, if I can. 
because this makes the Ceravoxa metal, so we can't do that. And then the Terillium Forge makes the Terillium. We can't do that because of the Erbium. But we should be able to do the Seratla Diamond Machine, I thought. Can we not? SD Refinery. I was pretty sure that we did unlock this last time. Can't do that. That's not it. That's not it. That's... can't do it. Can't do this either because of the Terillium and it's none of those. So I guess I'm a big fat liar and we cannot do that. We can make this stuff though, so I might do some of these guys. Copper, titanium, lead, and valvanite. The nuclear fusion furnace is just, again, copper, lead, titanium, vulcanite. And the kiloton forge is just osmium, so it's not really important. But I can do, like, the gamma radiation forge and the nuclear furnace. And I thought there was one more for the elysian. I guess not, though, unless it's here. It is. It is here. So I guess not. It's just those two. And that will not be difficult at all to actually, like, get working properly. Uh, all I need to do is some of this for these guys, and then I can have them go in the side like that, and then just pull this apart, and then we can just do this, and... Well, I guess maybe another thing that we could do is have this here like that and then get rid of you because I'm going to need two outputs, which means that's going to have to be there and we'll have to do two more here. And this is just going to be copper, lead, titanium. This one is going to be our valvanite. This one is going to be our vulcanite. I'm going to need to set up a valvanite. Uh, production somewhere around here but there's pretty much like copper and lead everywhere like copper and lead honestly I could even just split it off of this and send it home like that would that would work in its entirety and would not cause any problems as far as I can tell at least uh, and all we need to do is set up like hey look at that here's a nuclear fusion furnace and then Boom, a gamma radiation furnace. And it's as simple as underflow, 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 and a bunch of these guys with some belts in between. And then all it'll need to be for both of you is just one of you going here, one of you going there, and then a belt coming out, and another belt coming out with that and then I'll just go on ahead and pop them on plastanium belts going back into the titanium one and then it's just going to need a buttload of power I actually don't know how much power each of these use 120 it's not that bad in all honesty but it's fine so this is going to get built slowly over time thanks to the lack of plastanium i'm going to keep a better eye on my power and how it's doing oh of course that's not going to work either there but that can reach and that can reach so we're good so yeah that's going to take a while uh oh well that might be an issue uh let's make this one the vulcanite this one the valvanite and then we can just take all that off of the belt, like that. And take you off of the belt, because I put them on the wrong places. Like a moron. New content unlocked. So what was that that I just made? What even was that called? Pyroplasma? Ooh, I unlocked new stuff. Prim primodrium? Primodrium? Primodrium. I'm gonna call it Primodrium. Primodrium wall. That was already unlocked. And the geothermal. 
More advanced version of thermal, special turret that uses slag to create thin shells with molten liquid inside and then shoots them in shotgun-like manner dealing massive damage to close range objects. An accuracy of 7 degrees, 2.1 per second, and it takes slag 450 damage with 100 area damage. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And then we've got the Bulwark Core, a large core that is more heavily armored than a standard core, has this low storage capacity for its size. 14,000 item capacity though, not bad, not bad. I think we're gonna work toward that. Look at that, that is cool stuff. It's got a really cool texture. Primodrium Iron. I'm gonna let that guy go and do his thing. Why are you not working? Oh my gosh, it wasn't connected into the power! Ah! I'm having a, the time of my life. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And then this will just, like, produce over time. Uh, what's the per second demand? 1.2. So I can actually do, like, a whole bunch more of these if I wanted. I, honestly, I think I do. So let's just do three of each. I think three of each sounds like a good idea, in my humble opinion. Uh, so we do that. We're going to have to do underflow gate. Shit. I mixed the belts. All right, fixed. Fully fixed. So we're gonna need to do this here and here. And we're not gonna need that one. We are still gonna need this one. Like that. And then maybe I can send them down like this to meet with one another. Yes, that will work. Yes, that will work. Okay. And now we just need to copy this again, get rid of these three, and then put in the gamma radiation forges instead. Make sure that they all have their little nubs between them. And then I can do this and this and get rid of these. Put in our plastanium belt like that. And now we are good. I'm just going to AFK for a second and let this build. I will be back momentarily. And we got the first of that. I have no idea what it is called. Uh, this? No. That's Valvanite. Lumionite? Yes, Lumionite. MRT conveyor. MRT stands for Mass Resource Transporter. Can carry 400 items at a time but quite slow at ta transporting it. Do not directly connect to plastanium conveyor. It will not load up to 400 stacks. Okay, so now we have an MRT thing. We have the quantum core. A quirker shoots a spread of energy pulses that pierce through enemies while also corroding them. That sounds really handy, actually. And then the gamma wall, a tough wall that has absorbs lasers. So this will essentially act like a stronger version of the plastanium wall. I'm really, really interested in the MRT conveyor. Costs plastanium, lumionite, and surge alloy. Wow, that is craziness. That is craziness, and that is expensive, but we have our first 10 coming in right now. Cool. New materials. Obviously, we're going to need to work our way up on actually building these, but our plastanium is so slow because the only place that we can put oil extractors is up here, and there's no actual oil on the zone. Uh, I think my main plastanium like area is going to be tar fields, which, I mean, that's kind of what tar fields is meant for, but I skipped over it to come to nuclear production complex instead and get some of this advanced stuff going. I mean, look at that, 40 enemies... Oh, it's the bombers that keep going down there. That's why they keep causing problems. Holy cow, I'm going to have to go deal with that. 
I'm also going to have to put up some better defenses over here, evidently. Oh, shoot. There's a fire. That fire's going to die down, right? Fire's dying down. Fire died down. All right, we're good. We're good. We are good. Okay, so how do I deal with this? Well, uh... I could do the astrology. Astrology is not bad. It's three per second and they're homing stars that burst. So yeah, these guys for sure. And we're just gonna place down a whole line of them and then some stellar walls. And that'll be that because they just connect into the power grid and work, which is very, very nice. Very much appreciate that. It also looks like they have power as, like, a battery in them. Uh, so that's good. Sort, sort of functions as, like, ammunition, I guess I could call it, maybe? But yeah, that's nice. And... Yeah, and they home in. So that's, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be very, very good. We almost have enough for the next one of these, so I may as well get it started. Oh boy, this has just been fun, but I love the new resources. Prim I'm going to call it Primordium because it's Primod Primodrium, but I'm going to call it Primordium. Primordium. I think that might be a typo, actually. I might contact the developer about that. <laughs> and be like, hey, yo, bro, so, like, you're, the mod, it's great, I love it, it's fantastic, but there's, there's a typo. <laughs> I actually think, yeah, that's probably a typo, but that's fine. That's fine, this is a huge mod. Huge, 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 huge mod, tons of content, absolutely insane, so, still loving every second of it, even if there's, like, you know, little, little hiccupy stuffs every now and then. Yeah, these guys are just demolishing everything, but I don't have enough plastanium to constantly be supplying new walls and stuff up here. So I just kind of let them rip through everything, and then it gets fixed later. Like, there's really not much else that I can do other than I guess I could put in one of these here. That'll help it a little bit at least. And put like a couple of them back here i guess that'll probably help them at least a little bit right yeah more than likely more than likely essentially at this point it's just capturing the zone i don't really think that there's anything else that i want to really explore in the tech trees or anything at the moment Ooh, hello discharge discharge is gamma lightning that corrodes enemies 1200 power units per second oh my gosh 24 per second shots wow that's that's kind of nuts actually that's kind of nuts that is kind of nuts not going to lie but yeah i'm just kind of gonna be Going down the tech trees as I currently have them. I'm not really going to be looking into anything else uh, production wise at the moment because of, you know, I don't have the Seratla Diamond Refinery. And that looks like that's fine because I don't have whatever that resource is anyway. So, like, there's really nothing that I can do in that regard. And the good news is that after this zone, I get the next uh, tier drill. And then I'll just capture Tarfields off camera because you guys have seen the whole gameplay loop, like go set up stuff. Uh, the only thing that's going to be different about Tarfields is I'm going to be doing a lot of Plastanium. Uh, and then we're going to move to Terraformed and get a whole bunch of stuff from there with the new drills. So yeah, I'll be back once we're captured this zone and I'll let you know how it's all going. Incoming. We haven't actually finished it yet, but incoming. I don't know why he's deciding to go this direction. That's a problem. That's a problem. 
He is going straight past my defenses. That is a huge problem. He literally just walked past everything. Oh, I'm gonna lose my power. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a major problem. Out of all the things that are a problem, this is a large problem. Hmm. Where are my builder drones when I need them? Just, just a question. Like, I have builder drones. Where are they? Well, that's that. That's a shame. When I went out to the menu, it said survives two out of two waves. I guess that was a lie. All right, well, we're going to tar fields, I guess. Not from frozen forest. Launch from, I don't know, coastline. Coastline seems like a good place to launch from. Why not? Let's launch from coastline. Two tar fields. Neither of those are super important to me. So, get rid of you, and get rid of you. Bye. Goodbye for now. Huh. So that sucks. Well, I'm going to capture tar fields off camera, just for anybody that's never seen tar fields before. Here's tar fields. Uh, enemies come from up here in this corner. Um, there's thorium here, oil, thorium and oil uh, and even more oil and there's titanium and coal all over the place it's great this zone is fantastic um, <clears throat> there's water here as well but this is mainly well where i'll have defense so that water is kind of going to be nil this water is going to be a little more important though uh, especially because of the fact that i'm going to end up setting power up up here and if i have it unlocked i might end up just doing the thorium reactors for that um, but yeah, pretty much everything else is basic, and you'll just kind of see it next time. It's a little bit of a shame because I really wanted to show off, um, this, the Bulwark Core, because I'm very close to having it unlocked, but I guess I'll just have to tease you guys for the next episode to see that. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I know I sure have. But without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, das vidania, vidazien, ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves all a fantastic rest of your day. Get some sleep if you need to, and don't forget to stay hydrated. <clears throat> Excuse me. This video is in the bag, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.